All right, man, here we are. I apologize for my voice, but my voice is completely shot from lack of sleep and being exhausted and just talking in general. But we have a lot of new stuff showing off that I haven't covered yet. So I was going to dive into the booth a little bit. They put out even more stuff here in day two. I didn't come here day two, but for day three, they have some more stuff as well. So we're just going to walk through the entire, God, heaven, my voice, man. We're going to walk through the entire booth and see what's up. All right, man, let's, let's start things off with the biggest disappointment of all time. The elite ones in Roman, no tapered faded beard, man. It's just, it's just not good. And the head sculpt from the side doesn't look as bad, man. But up front, it looks nothing like Roman. It's kind of weird, like especially in the photos that Ringside posted. But if we come around here, like I just don't think that looks like Roman from the front. But this, uh, this Paul Heyman right here is actually going to be a part of From the Vault Series number two, which a lot of people are saying is probably a kind of a wasted spot. I don't really know how I feel about it. I know a lot of people missed out on that pack, but it was also at different clearance stores like TJ Maxx, so kind of hard to say. But those are two new figures. Elite 110 Roman, it does have the Undisputed Championship, but I was pretty damn disappointed in it, man. I'm so sorry for my voice. And all right, man, then we come right here, man. This is like the sickest thing I think I've ever seen in my lifetime. It's got to be the Casey Jones Cody Rhodes, man. The mask is unreal. The cloth goods hoodie, the bat, the hockey stick, the hand wrap. I mean, the attire is even beautiful, man. The details is crazy. Like over here, you have the X's and stuff. I just love that, man. I, I love that they just went all out on these. The details is insane. The Roman Reigns with the face paint, and it's his logo on his face with the shoulder pads and the gauntlet. And then you have his waist wrap, Ultimate Edition boots. <laughs> this figure right here is insane. I mean, these figures are crazy. The, the Leonardo Seth with the custom vest. He's got the glasses that look like the headband. You have this custom vest that looks like, you know, the Ninja Turtles, this gear with the different designs. I mean, you could remove the knee pads. These large knee pads suck. I don't know why they did that. I guess because the Ninja Turtles wear knee pads, but I feel like standard knee pads would have sufficed because it's not like all of them have elbow pads. So I don't know what's up with that, but that has got to be the coolest thing they revealed. It's at least one of my favorites. And I'm not even a huge Ninja Turtles guy, man. You have Donatello, Xavier Woods, Michelangelo, Kofi Kingston with the nunchucks. Very cool gear. I mean, dude, they, they went all out on these. They also come with like turnbuckles, posts in the back with pipes from the sewers. The Rey Mysterio here with the, the knee pads and the boots. And he even has Raph's sword or scythe on his mask, which is another crazy detail. So just unreal, unreal details on these guys. Probably the coolest thing they revealed this weekend, man. I mean, it's, it's up there for sure. All right, man, then we move forward. We do have Bruno right here. I'm gonna try to talk a little softer so that, you know, my voice isn't shot, but we have Bruno there, that re-release of the Legends Greatest Hits. We also have Elite 110, Pete Dunn in here. It looks like his legs are pinless. I do like the white gear. It is cool to get two different Pete Dunn figures. Love Pete Dunn. But uh, you got the, the custom jersey, and the uh, jersey's a bit big. And uh, it's supposed to be tight fit to the biceps. I don't know what's going on there. And then coming forward, we also have Pretty Deadly, which, you know, I'm not the biggest fans of, but they look really good figure for man. So uh, I don't know, maybe we'll have, to, uh, we'll have to check it out. But if we come forward right here, we do have Becky Lynch Elite 112. I actually like this head sculpt a lot. Um, I like the hair. A lot of people are saying it's Siren inspired, but I was thinking it was Rogue. I could be wrong though. I'm not a total expert. She still has the basic feet, which is kind of annoying, but it's still a cool figure come back here we have elite 110 austin theory like the new head sculpt i like the new torso a lot i think it looks really good i feel like his arms are a bit too small but really good austin theory figure right there and i like that a lot shout out to stage creator on that one and then we also have a look at elites i think i can't remember the series man but it is jordan devlin here in the front which looks pretty good i like the head sculpt he kind of looks like a bully from my uh, my high school, middle school days, but he looks all right. I like the head sculpt and everything. It's not Judgment Day, but the, the jacket kind of makes you think it is, and you could easily put purple knee pads on him or something. I don't know, you could maybe fix it up, but it's a good looking figure. So there's Devlin there. I think that's everything that's new in this booth that we didn't cover. If you guys missed our coverage of the rest of this booth, you need to go check it out from a few days ago, but let's move on to the next booth. And our man right here, we do have the Defining Moments Kane, the new Defining Moments Series 2 ringside exclusive Kane and RVD. 
Not very impressed with this RVD head sculpt, but I do like the figure. Could easy, easily head swap it. I know the render looked a lot better than this figure, but it's still okay. I like the championships and everything. Pretty cool, I think. I'm looking forward to it regardless. The King figure is kind of a, a surprise to me. Didn't really expect it. I think that the ultimate's pretty perfect. I do like the uniqueness of it and how it comes with the turnbuckle, you know, explosions or whatever, but I don't know, man. Kind of a eh, uh, release for me here. And then the LA Knight from this wave is also kind of eh uh, to me. I, I just don't like it that much, but you know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but let's get into From the Ball series number two. And we do have the DX Shawn Michaels ringside exclusive. It does come with the Ultimate Edition head sculpt. It looks really good. I know a lot of people are going to be hyped for this figure. Elite 27 Rikishi is an interesting pick because we already have the Greatest Hits version that just released not too long ago. So I don't know why they did that one. That one's kind of suspect to me. We also have 16 Diesel. I think it's Elite 16 Diesel. Very cool figure. I like the torso on this one a lot better than the Network Spotlight. Then we have uh, Hall of Champions. Billy Gunn and Road Dog, which are very expensive now, so those make sense. I like those, and I like the cloth goods. They have, you know, no Velcro or anything, so those look really good. I think these are solid selections, but the Rikishi, I, I don't like a lot, but uh, the rest of it's pretty decent. Our man right here, we do have a few more Ultimate Editions on display. They had the fan tank over Ray right here, which we've known about. And then really the news is in the back here. We have this new Ultimate Edition Ray from last year, which is a really cool figure. I'm glad they made that in the figure form. Even though the mask looks like Bible Man, you know, Bible Man exclusive. But it does look good here on display. I'm excited for it. I like that new boom mode over there. We also have LA Knight right there. And then we have Dominic on the other side, which we'll get a better shot of. But right now, people are in the way. And here's a better shot of Dominic right there. He's also going to come with the mask that sculpt and the handcuffs, which is really cool. I like the Dominic, even though, I don't know, does he deserve an ultimate, I guess. You know, it's a cool jacket mold and everything like that. At least it's articulated, won't hinder anything. But Dominic as an ultimate, he does look pretty good, I must say, even though, you know, uh, a lot of people are gonna shish on the fact that he may not deserve an ultimate or whatever, but at least the uh, figure is good in execution. And then we do have LA Knight here, which also looks pretty good. Norman in the Legends booth over here. I think the only thing they really added was this two-in-one Who figure right here with Jim. So you get the two in one, which I think is awesome. You could also maybe put these pants maybe on like different things or maybe if it's a full jacket deal, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on there, but you do have the two in one. So you have who and you have Jim. And I think that's pretty cool. So I always appreciate a good two in one figure, but I think everything else in this booth we've already discussed and seen, but uh, pretty, pretty high, man. So many good Legends figures coming soon. And I cannot wait for Jamal and Rosie specifically in this Kurt, but everything's looking pretty damn good here. And then the last thing that we have here, man, is the sort of like final touches on Scott Hall. And we have a chase figure here. You have the long tights and you have the blue, which looks beautiful. And then you have Bruce Weber Beefcake and Rey Mysterio. So we did get some new stuff put on display right here. Kane, British Bulldog, all these different figures. So they're looking pretty damn good, man. I'm excited for these. I really like the blue on Scott Hall. But that is pretty much everything I think they kind of put out over the last couple days that I missed out on. So I wanted to make an updated video showcasing the new stuff that was not on display previously. But it's pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'm actually going to have to do the outro here in my hotel room because I didn't film one, man. I was feeling really rough on this day. Had no sleep, had no food and everything like that, man. So my health was not, or just my rest and my voice and everything was just so off, man. So I do apologize for that, but I do have the panel today at the time of recording this. And it should be fun, man, with CM Punk and everything. And I tr I'm gonna try and do my best to put up everything about that. But anyways, man, that is gonna wrap the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. At the time I'm editing this video, night one just ended of WrestleMania. So that was a lot of fun, of course, but we do have night two tomorrow. So that should be awesome as well. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you later.